our pair of scissors, we see a circle and an oval. That is for our thumb and the rest of our fingers so that we can open and close like this with the blade of the scissors. This circle is for your thumb. You're gonna put your thumb down in that hole and the rest of your fingers go inside the other oval. Now, Miss Gay has big old adult hands, so my pinky won't fit in there, but I bet yours will. So I'm gonna take my pinky out, but I think you should try and fit your pinky in and then look at my thumb. It is through the circle hole. So let me show you one more time. Thumb goes down, other fingers go in, and you are ready to cut. When you are holding your scissors in your hand and you have your thumb in the circle and your other fingers in the oval, you can open and close. Open and close. I like to call these alligator chomps because it looks like an alligator chomping. Open and close. Now, when you are cutting, you want your blade to point away from you. So I'm gonna hold it like this. You don't want your blade to be pointing this way or definitely not that way because it's very hard on your wrist to cut in like this. So you wanna have your scissors pointing away from you. Now, while you are cutting, your other hand needs a job. If I put this paper here and I want you to cut it, I can't cut it. <gasps> you have to use your other hand to hold the paper that you're cutting. Otherwise, you won't be able to cut it. So my, my other hand, my dirty other hand, is going to hold my paper. With this hand I'm holding, with this hand I'm cutting, slowly opening and closing. I'm gonna put that paper inside of my scissor blade while it's open like this and slowly chomp it off. And now I have cut off my first piece of paper. I'm going to pick that paper up with my free hand and slowly chomp with my other hand. Open, put it in, slowly chomp, boop. If you're cutting something long, like this. You're gonna have to open one, put your paper in, slowly chomp, and I need to open my scissors back up. Once I scoot them up, I can slowly chomp and scoot them up. Boop! And that's how you can cut something long. While you are cutting, you got to remember to cut slow. Cutting is not a race. The best thing to do when you are cutting is to go so, so slow. That way, you can do a really nice job. I'm gonna go so slow and practice cutting my paper. Opening and closing. Scoot it forward, chomp. And I will have so many little pieces. I can even cut some of these into smaller pieces. Snip, snip. Now your hand that's holding the paper, you gotta be careful because look, that blade is so very close to my finger. So I'm going to scoot it away from my finger. That way I don't accidentally cut myself. And I'm gonna go so slow. 